Good morning, children. Welcome back to the session. As usual, we are discussing the English subject of 10th standard, a first language English subject. That is, we are discussing third lesson, that is, the gift of the Magi. So, this period is the sixth session, sixth period of this uh, lesson. Let's uh, discuss uh, what is there in that uh, the paragraph. In the last period, the previous period, we have discussed uh, up to the 35th paragraph, that is, uh, after uh, convincing by the Della, Jim argued the uh, wife and also she threw a pocket uh, from his uh, overcoat uh, on the table. That uh, the last line we have discussed. Uh, let's see, uh, 36th paragraph. Don't make any mistake, Del, he said about uh, me. I don't think there is anything in the way of a haircut or a shave or a shampoo that could make me like my girl any less. But if you will unwrap that packet, you may see why you had me going a while at first. So, here, he said that he never mind regarding that what he, she has done. And he also said that uh, the love towards her will not going to be reduced, will not decrease. And uh, the thing that is of a uh, haircut, a shave, a shampoo doesn't uh, make any difference to him. She he is always going to love and uh, have the same, what you call, uh, love towards the uh, Della, he said, and also saying that uh, he said that uh, he will know that uh, how much you love, how much uh, I love you. That is uh, when you are going to unwrap and you are going to open that uh, package uh, which he has kept on a table. So while white fingers and uh, nimble tore at the string and paper, and then an ex static scream of joy, static scream of joy, and then a loss, a quick feminine chain to hysterical tears and walls, necessitating the immediate employment of all the comforting powers of the Lord of the flat. So this is a wonderful description here it is made by the author, that is, when she opened the package, that is uh, what uh, the expression an ecstatic uh, scream of joy, ecstatic scream of joy. Ecstatic means uh, when the ecstatic scream. That is a uh, e c s t a t i c. Ecstatic uh, means a uh, scream of joy. Means very excited, very excited. Very excited and enthusiastic and uh, enthusiastic. Enthusiastic. So she was very excited and uh, with enthusiastic uh, she screamed with, with uh, a joy and said alas a quick feminine change to hysterical tears. Hysterical tear means uncontrollable. Hysterical means uncontrollable. H Y S T E R I C. Hysterical means uncontrollable. So, was not under the control. Uncontrollable. 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 So, stress here means air. Stress means air. So here, yeah, a scattered scream of joy, and then alas, a quick feminine change to hysterical tears and the wall ways, necessitating the immediate employment of all the comforting powers of the Lord for the flat. They are in such a uh, moment that uh, 
it cannot be replaced by any other uh, things such a uh, moment that uh, they are getting now for they lay the combs what she found there on that pocket how she has become such a very excited and enthusiastic uncontrollable tears and happiness because jim got jim bought uh, the combs that is the set of combs side and back that della had worshipped long in a broadway window that is beautiful combs uh, pure tortoise shell with jeweled rims just a shade to wear in the beautiful vanished hair they were expensive combs she knew and her heart had simply craved and earned over them without the least hope of a possession and now they were hers but the dresses that should have adorned the coveted adornments were gone what she find there jim bought for the della the precious the comb set of combs with a jewel rings with of a tortoise shell beautiful combs which she liked for which she bought sorry which she liked uh, very last uh, days that is uh, here it is mentioned that is uh, mm, they are expensive combs uh, and in her heart had simply craved and earned for them without the least of her possession she never think of uh, getting such a beautiful combs uh, and she asked for those uh, combs in the previous days and uh, now that uh, uh, things that is the uh, beautiful combs uh, were presented by the uh, husband as a gift uh, and it was uh, unexpected and uh, she was full of uh, uh, people, uh, joy and uh, happy and whereas uh, one side will be the happiness but uh, on the other side the tresses that is the, the hairs are not there for the combing the hairs a long hairs with such a beautiful combs okay it is mentioned so but she hugged them to her bosom and at length she was able to look up with dim eyes and a smile and say my hair grows so fast jim even though <coughs> she felt that her hair were not so long as before but she took all those uh, set of uh, combs to her bosom and said to the husband my hair grows faster then i will use this one and then della leaped up like a little sing syndicate and cried oh ho oh, oh. jim had not yet seen his beautiful present so the first present that was given is uh, from the uh, side of uh, jim jim presented the gift uh, to the husband that is to the wife della that is uh, a beautiful set of combs uh, with a uh, tortoise shells uh, and uh, with a design that is a uh, jewel ring with the jewel ring so but now is the time to show the gift which she has got okay so jim had not seen his beautiful present she held it out to him eagerly upon her palm the dull precious metal seemed to flash with the reflection of her bright and ardent spirit she was also very very uh, interesting to present that uh, gift to the husband isn't it a dandy gem i hunted all over the town to find it uh, you will have to look at the time a hundred times a day now give me your watch i want to see how it looks on it 
are representing the gift which she bought for a gem that is a uh, platinum fob chain asked the gem to give her his watch let's see whether it is going to match and, uh, and also she said that uh, now you can uh, see hundred times uh, the time in a day no need to what do you call a shame on seeing the time with a uh, old leather scrap on a golden watch she wanted to see that uh, watch she said give me that watch let me see how it looks on it like that instead of obeying jim tumbled down on the couch on the couch and put his hands under the back of his head and smiled when she asked the golden watch it's a golden watch it was not the, there with him because because he has sold that watch for bringing this uh, combs della said he let's put our christmas presents away and keep uh, them away they are too nice to use just a present so he said now it's good the christmas present what they have bought very nice and uh, he said keep those uh, uh, gifts uh, on that side i sold the watch uh, to get the money to buy your combs he said i sold that watch to buy the combs as she sold her is to bring uh, that watch or uh, chain that is a uh, uh, platinum fob chain similarly as well the gym also developed the important question which uh, he had with him uh, that is uh, the father's uh, for father's uh, uh, gold watch uh, he sold that uh, watch gold watch uh, uh, now suppose you put the chops on so don't mind now let uh, uh, together put the, these gifts away and we go for uh, the dinner like that uh, he said so here what it says that uh, both the wife and husband so much uh, love with each other they sold their precious things which they have that is the the hair which uh, Della had and where the gold watch uh, Jim sold and bought a gift just like that of the three kings which was mentioned in the Bible that is Magi. So Magi, uh, that's why the title is the gift of the Magi. How these three kings uh, traveled uh, so far uh, for uh, presenting a gift to the newborn Jesus. Uh, like that only this husband and wife uh, together by selling the precious thing which they have and uh, bought a gift with each other on Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. The Magi, as you know, were wise men, wonderfully wise men, who bought gifts to the babe in manga. They invented the art of giving Christmas presents. Being wise, their gifts were no doubt wise ones. Possibly, bearing the privilege of exchange in case of a duplication. And here, I have lamentably related to you the uneventful chronicle of two foolish children in a flat who most unwisely sacrificed for each other the greatest treasures of their house. But the last word to the wise of these days, let it be said that of all who give gifts, these two were the wisest. These two are means uh, Jim and Della. Of all who give and receive gifts uh, such as they are uh, wisest. Everywhere they are uh, wisest. Uh, they are the Magi. So this is about the lesson. Finally, we come to uh, conclude that uh, the gifts, the gifts which uh, Della and uh, Jim bought together by selling her precious things uh, is of uh, worthy. So the fairness uh, that the love together which they have is uh, a lot to uh, me, is a lot to me and uh, that is the importance it is uh, mentioned and the gift of the Magi that is the wisest uh, of men are the very important, the gifts are not important, the need 
allow the importance loss of uh, the intensity of the giving gifts is very very important that is the uh, what you call moral that is known and that is we have to give importance to the human beings the feelings the love with one another so this is about the lesson the gift of the major children i hope you have learned uh, the story uh, listen the paragraph read out the paragraphs carefully understand the lines okay we will discuss uh, the excess part uh, and i will give notes uh, in the next period so uh, take care if you have any doubts you can uh, clarify uh, with me on online classes or by calling thank you children